Hey, what's up everyone out there? This is Marlon with Addicted Fishing. I'm here with Jordan, 168 Fishing Adventures. We're super excited. This week we're gonna launch a tributary Springer series. We got the opportunity to get out with Jordan on the river and film four tributary specific videos. What's the first one we're gonna start with? First one we're gonna start with is identifying Springer water. Uh, how to get down the river and find a spot where the salmon are actually going to sit. So you're going to be able to show them in this vi in this video, you're going to be able to show them some spots, maybe even hook a fish or two? Yep, start to finish. Nice. So make sure you guys comment below with any questions you have. This is a four part video series, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down in the corner. I think it's our Addicted logo. Make sure you guys subscribe. There's going to be four videos. We'll launch one a day. This is going to be the first one, like he said, locating springers, looking for that water that you're going to be searching for. Stick with us guys, make sure you subscribe, comment with any other videos that you wanna see. Stay tuned, we'll see you on the river. Hey everybody, this is Jordan Kanigi with 168 Fishing Adventures. Today we're out on the river fishing for Spring Chinook. Now we're gonna talk Springer Holes. Okay, Springer Holes are a variation. You can catch them in fast water, you can catch them in slow water, but really what you're looking for is deep, oxygenated cold water. These fish are coming a long ways from the ocean. They wanna be where it's most conducive and where it's most comfortable for them. That being deep, cold, dark areas like this that you see here. Usually what we look for are, are areas below a big uh, migrating landmark, whether it be a rapid or a waterfall or, or just a certain section of river where you have deep, dark pockets that you can fish for them. That's why we go with such heavy leads and such big bobbers. Um, what we're looking at here right behind us is a Chinook hole. This is something you want to look for when you're going up and down the river looking for places to look for Chinook when you're just learning. You look out here, we're right below a big rapid. You come down and the water immediately breaks and dumps off into a big bucket. They have all this oxygen, all of these bubbles that are coming out. Same thing is happening underwater. They're getting a lot of oxygen and a lot of cool water moving through their gills. So they're gonna nose up, usually in the mornings after they've traveled all night, and sit in these deep, dark pockets. Okay, and this is where you start fishing. You start at the head of the hole and you work your way down. Most odds are you get them in the middle of the hole where it's deepest and where it's, where it's coldest. Um, be sure to move your bobber stop around. Be sure to move depths and start at the top of the hole and work towards the end, whether you're spinner fishing or whether you're using eggs. Uh, but again, salmon holes are ones that you want to see deep, dark, colored water where the fish have a lot of protection from their only prey, which is the sky. So they're going to move up, they're going to go into these deep holes, and they're going to be happy until you catch them. Alright everyone out there, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys learned some stuff from this guy about where to locate these springers out in these tributaries. And we filmed three more videos in this series, so starting tomorrow we're going to launch the second of this series. What's it going to be, Jordan? Tomorrow we're going to be looking at how to catch these fish, setting up your bobber and egg setup, uh, how to get it down in front of their face, and, and again, where to find them. Awesome, so that's part two of the video series in this Springer tributary series. We have four videos coming, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Comment with any suggestions you have or anything else you'd like to see when it comes to springers, or if you just have questions about catching them, feel free to send us a message. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you on the river.